What's up? What's up, guys? It's your boy AD, and I'm back. How y'all been? I'm sorry I'm a little late, and I may not have time to talk about the whole entire Raw, but I will talk about the important parts. The main important part is Cody Rose and Jey Uso losing the title. Now, I'll, I just shake my head like, like this is what WWE fans get for not understanding what's really going on. See what happens when you don't get stuff like me? I've been saying this for the longest. I'm like, uh, Triple H doesn't like Cody Rhodes. Triple H doesn't like the Usos. Triple H doesn't like the bloodline. If he really did, he would be booking them and treating them much better. Notice how none of those people I just mentioned are on the up and up. All of them are going down here. Why would you even give Cody and them the titles just to take them away two days later? I mean, nine days later. And then you see you got people out here already. Don't They know they butt hurt because they know they like Cody and Jay. So they know they butt hurt. But here, here go these fake fans still trying to make up excuses for what the WWE is doing. Instead of just pointing out the blatant racism that's happening. Like why they got to lose the belts to build storylines to where they probably going to lose and go nowhere. Right? Look at Chelsea Green and Piper Niven. They're not doing anything, and they suck, and they suck. So so why do they have the belts? Why do they have the titles? Why they don't got to worry about their titles being taken and someone taking them? They don't even have to worry about that. You see what I'm saying? And then notice who it is. Look who it is. Notice that there's no melanated people on that team. Look at Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Why they couldn't feud? Why they couldn't break up? Why you couldn't have them fight each other? Kevin Owens was always kind of acting funny with Sami Zayn. But look what happened. You just sent Kevin Owens to Raw. So now it's like, and now Sami and KO will be doing new things separately. Like what? So no feud between them? No breakup? No fight between them, huh? But you'll study have the black people fight each other all day, though. <laughs> and I, and I, I, I still am mad at these fans. For back in, oh, so when Jay and Jimmy was trying to win their titles from Cody, y'all were, boo, Sammy and KO should have the titles. Even though y'all don't realize they ain't do shit to get them and they ain't that good. Just like LA Knight. This is why I don't like the WWE product like that no more. It's it's just racist. They, uh, anybody who's melanated or minority don't get nothing. Or they get treated like crap. Just like, here it go. Now, everybody was backing Cody and Jay. Everybody was clearly backing them. And look how the WWE didn't care about pushing them. And this is, and here go proving my point again. Don't I say this all the time? I'm like, why in the world, every time you see a strong, stupid push for somebody who ain't did nothing or who ain't that over, they're always white. I mean, say, say I'm wrong if y'all want to. They're always white. Sami Zayn, stupid push out of nowhere. Cloud Chaser, white. LA Knight, dumb push, hasn't won anything. A copycat, sounds goofy, white. Push to the moon. See what the fuck I'm talking about? But they don't do that when up. Chad Gable, even Chad Gable magically start getting a push and people act like they wanted him to beat. See, why is it always white people? Why? Just like I said with Cody and Jay, why in the world, why in the world are y'all quick to take the belts from them, though? Why? But had Judgment Day running around with it for damn near a month. Had Sammy and KO running around with it forever. But why Cody, who obviously is with a black woman and has a mixed child, and why Jay, who's clearly mel melanated, why are they the only one? Why are they the ones to get screwed up? Why are they the ones to get set up and screwed up like that? And then look who lost the match, Jay. Who got pinned, Jay? See? The fuck? Now let's talk about, yeah, and Piper Niven and come on, man. And then had the nerve to have King Carter and Katana Chance standing right next to them. And that's a slap in their faces. Look at these two people who aren't a tag team, who aren't even that good, who aren't even putting their titles up. Look at them Why y'all the real tag team who are good, who should be getting title opportunities, and why y'all don't get shit. Oh, I wonder why, because it's a black woman on her team. What a strange coincidence 
it's a black woman on her team and they can't never get nothing. See what the F I be talking about? This is why I get so mad because this shit is too damn blatant. And the fact that none of y'all talk about it shows that y'all might be racist y'all selves, man. The fact that y'all cannot see this and call it out. And it happens every damn week. Every week. Now look. Now look. See? See? Now look at these fans making up excuses when they know damn well they wish Cody and them would have had kept them titles. They know it. Now here go the fake fans. Because I told you they can't never say the shit really for what it is. Because they know if they this product fall, they ain't got shit. So they don't tell the truth. Because they know damn well they can't lose it all. That's what you get for putting everything into such a terrible product. It used to be better than this. This shit is pure racist, man. I don't like it. I'll watch it, see what's up. Maybe little stuff, but nah, man. What happened when Cody and Jay was bogus as hell? What the fuck you going to give it back to the boring-ass Judgment Day for? They already are boring as hell everywhere. Going everywhere. They're fucking boring. Oh, let's put the titles back on them. Sorry, Cody and Jay. Like I said, clearly the fans were behind them. Clearly the fans liked them. So why the hell Triple H didn't push them? But he'll push a Chad Gable. He'll push a LA Knight. He'll push all these other people that suck. He'll push a Johnny Gargano. You know what I'm saying? But you're not finna push Jay and Cody. And then you constantly make Jimmy look stupid. Make this make sense. So why every time Jimmy runs up on somebody like a, a Cody... You know, like a L.A. Knight or somebody, you know, a white person. Why every time Jimmy runs up on them, he gets his ass kicked and gets thrown out the ring and he don't do shit. But oh, oh, but he could sneak his brother Jay and get away with it, though. You, that's See, that's why I be so angry, because that's clear racism. Oh, why when you fight white people, you get your ass whooped. But oh, you can come out of nowhere and cause your brother to lose his title. So magically, now you got the power to stop something now. And not only did you stop your brother, your twin brother, but you also caused him to lose the titles. Oh, but Triple H will write it, create that though. That's what y'all fans get though, see? That's what y'all fans get because y'all have not figured it out yet. Y'all still think this product is cool. This shit is biased and racist. Come on, man. What a name one black person you know doing good in this company. And don't bring Roman up because we know his time is coming. And they ain't been making him look good either. So I don't want to hear that shit. Shit is annoying. Now we got to watch Boring Ass Judgment Day with the titles again, which is boring as shit. Like, who really wants to watch that, man? Shit is boring. They all do the same shit. Cody and Jay was like a breath of fresh air. Even though it's still sad that he couldn't get them titles with his brother. Uh-huh. Oh, but he can get them with Cody. I already explained how they've been doing Cody dirty as hell. And I, st I still can't believe it's people who think Cody is going somewhere. Y'all just don't know nothing. I swear y'all don't know nothing. Even if it was in your face, you wouldn't know it. The fuck? Obviously, they took them belts from them because they was getting too popular. You didn't want them getting the popularity. Oh, but you have KO and Sammy do it for months. But Chelsea Green and them don't put their belts up. But then don't give Caden Carr. I mean, they're literally just there doing nothing, not even working matches or nothing. But you'll put Chelsea Green, but then throw Piper Niven out there in the singles match. <laughs> what? If that ain't protection, I don't know what protection is. But y'all made sure you didn't protect Cody and Jay, though. Oh, but we'll protect Piper Niven and Chelsea Green, who ain't even a real team. Who sucks? But what? You'll protect them? Why? Because they're white. This shit ain't elementary, man. But, all right. Yeah, nobody talking about NXT either, I noticed. Mm -hmm. I knew that was some hype fake bullshit. Bye. Ugh.